Hey folks, I'm Natasha and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I do book things here. Today's video is going to be something really special for me. So this past weekend was my uh, bridal shower slash bachelorette like day. Basically, I either have a vlog up for it or I will have a vlog up for it depending on like which order I put up these videos. Um, but basically I just invited like all of my friends out uh, for brunch and then we went and got our nails did and then sort of just came back to my place for like a like low-key chill um sort of party kind of thing what was really cute was uh, my maid of honor dana actually planned out that they each get me um one of their favorite books and then write like an inscription on the inside i'm going to show you guys like my bachelorette book haul <laughs> i guess it's kind of funny because they're all like my friend's favorite books it's like they're automatically bumped up to the top of my TBR list. So I'm going to show you guys the books that they picked uh, and gifted me and then read the descriptions on the inside because I think it's really cute. So up first my mom got me this book called True Love, How to Make Your Relationship Sweeter, Deeper, and More Passionate, uh, which is kind of funny but also really cute. This has just like little things about um, like how to just help your relationship and it's just super cute and yeah, like, I don't know, it's just, it's just, it's adorable, right? Love is a process, not a destination. Um, everyone has circumstances. Your sweetheart isn't psychic. <laughs> Assumptions are dangerous to your love life. Uh, just like little love advice. My mom wrote to Natasha, happy wedding shower day. So it says, this book though, it may seem a little bit old fashioned, helped me many times when I felt like giving up, even if it was just to calm me down. I love you, my darling daughter here and everywhere. So that's from my mom, it's super cute. My friend Becca got me Nine Stories by J.D. Salinger. I'm actually reading it right now. And she didn't really tell me too much about this book because she's just like, it's just nine stories all sort of compiled. From what I've read so far, it's just um, various short stories compiled. And I read two so far and the first one was just like intense. So um, I think it's just like, an interesting read. So <laughs> she wrote, to be honest, it pains me to write in a book. I never crack spines for my AP English. I keep annotations in a separate notebook, but I'll break my reservedness for you. This may be a cop-out choice because even though I've read it, it's mentioned in two of my favorite movies, 500 Days of Summer and Whatever It Takes. Plus, it goes with my broody emo past to pick a Salinger book. I mean, who didn't have a crush on Holden when they were younger? Also, the po pocket size feels special to me. I hope you read this snuggled up next to your hunky husband. Happy bridal bullshit bachelorette, longest description ever, Becca. Uh, been reading this and really like this. I'll probably finish this actually like later on today. So then next, my maid of honor, Dana, got me um, this really beautiful copy of the Wizard of Oz and it's like stunning it's got like the amazing things um, I haven't watched the Wizard of Oz in years probably since I was a kid and I've never actually read the books so I really really want to read this because um, it was released like what a hundred and some years ago it's like a really quite old book and I don't often read classics so um, it'd be nice to sort of like sit down with a classic especially now like especially given that I know a little bit about the story um, also I want to show you guys Dana's handwriting. If this isn't the most little pixie dainty handwriting you've ever seen, it's every time she writes me something I keep it forever because um, it's just like the cutest handwriting ever. So she wrote this, it's adorable. She's like, to my beautiful friend, my goal is to make you cry reading this message, so wish me luck. It says, I've never met someone so fearless in life. You are unapologetically yourself and that in itself is inspiring. I have loved you since day one through drunken rocks home and talks of life and love. I have loved you from eight hours away with distance playing a part and in my missing you. Today I love you, tomorrow I love you, and every other fucking day. <laughs> thank you for honoring our friendship and thank you for allowing me to stand next to you on your big day. Love, Dana. Oh, it's so cute. I've already cried. I, I actually, the night that I got it, I made like Jeff read it because I couldn't actually read the inscription because I was a little and um, <laughs> ball my face off in the kitchen reading the uh, reading the note she wrote. So um, up next, my friend Megan got uh, Memoirs of a Geisha, which I also haven't read, but it was something that I've been wanting to read for a good while. As there are a couple of them in this like stack as well, a couple of surprises to me that I've never heard of or I haven't seen or wasn't expecting to read or anything, but um, this was one that was on my list. So that kind of works out well. 
Um, so then, <laughs> it's so funny, all my friends have such different personalities that like, Megan Ten writing is so Megan Ten writing. <laughs> Says Natasha, I don't even know what to write here except for how happy I am for you and Jeff uh, and the life that you're building together. This book is a love story of course, but it's my favorite because it's a truly unique piece of art. Every image burst out of the page. The vibrancy of this novel reminds me of you and your spark or pizzazz if you're a drunk dad at McDick's. Love you and I hope that this, you love the book enough to read it 20 times like me, Megan. So super cute, really excited to read this. And my friend MC got me a copy of The Giver, also a book that I've wanted to read. And um, she wrote something really precious on the inside. She put a quote by Tim Burton. Uh, maybe it's just in America, but it seems like if you're passionate about something, it freaks people out. You're considered bizarre or eccentric. To me, it just means you are who you are. Tim Burton. And she wrote, I love the human you are, as does the groom to be, XOMC. Um, precious. <laughs> That's really cute too. And again, made me cry in my kitchen last night. So. Um, okay, so up next my friend Sid, who has just like the best personality ever, she's so funny. <laughs> I guess it was sent out to all of them to like pick a favorite book. And so I open this up and it's um, T Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman's Good Omens. And I love this little like double guy on the front. And it turns out she hasn't actually read the book, but she's just like, I picked this because it looked like interesting. And like, look at, look at these guys in the, look at them in the fucking cover, it's hilarious. So she wrote to Natasha on the day of her bachelorette, I believe it's, it's I believe it's incredibly good omen, haha, that you have found your, uh, your man, <laughs> Jeff's penis forever, XOXO Sid, PS, I never read this book but it looks awesome, smiley face, which I just think is hilarious. This actually sounds really interesting, I didn't know like anything about it, I've obviously heard of those two authors before, uh, but this is uh, about the end of the world and just like setting a date for judgment day um this time though the armies of good and evil really do appear to be massing four bikers of the apocalypse are hitting the road but both angels and demons well one fast living demon and a somewhat fussy angel would uh, quite like the rapture not to happen and someone seems to have misplaced the antichrist so i think this is just going to be just hilarious so um yeah sid picked a good one with this one because it seems something that i'm really into so I'm excited to read that one. And then Cody grabbed me um, The Art of Racing in the Rain. And this is so cute. I've never actually heard of this book before, um, but if, I think it's told from the perspective of a dog. And I think that's just really cute. So it says, Enzo knows he's different from other dogs, a philosopher with a nearly human soul and an obsession with opposable thumbs. He has educated himself by watching television and listening carefully to the words of his master, Denny Swift, an up and coming race car driver. Now in his twilight years, Enzo finds himself thinking back on his life with the Swift family, reflecting on all he's learned about the human condition and how life like racing is about much more than simply going fast. Um, I have a funny feeling this might make me cry. Um, dog perspective though is something that I haven't read like from and so I'm excited to see this because I know Cody's personality and so it's like I'm, I want to see sort of why he likes this book. But he wrote in there, my dearest Natasha, it's nice to write in a book for you that isn't my own. He's also an author which I will talk about in a later video because he does have a book that is published. So it says it's nice to write in a book for you that isn't my own and this crazy thing called life I want to remind you that uh, I want to remind you that which you manifest is before you. Control the twist and turns even when it rains by making them your own. Love you and Jeff to the end of the earth. You got this. Love your ex-husband Cody. P.S. Dogs are cool. And uh, we ended up getting sort of like fake married for a couple of my birthdays back in my like early 20s. So, so he will always be my first husband. <laughs> and then lastly, my friend Chrissy picked up a copy of The Handmaid's Tale, which is another book that I was actually looking for um, in my last sort of like book haul kind of experience. I asked them for it and everything. And so she wasn't sure if I already had it and I hadn't, but um, she wrote, it feels a bit strange to give a dystopian novel to a bride. That being said, it's one of my favorites and we're both already a bit strange. And then she quotes, I think it's in Latin, uh, which is like a quote from the book. She's like, you'll understand it once you read it. And then she's like, enjoy heart Chrissy. So yeah, those are the books that my friends gifted me. And I just think it's uh, such a good idea that they came up with that just to get, get me their favorite books because they know like I'm gonna keep these forever especially like with like having the um, the writing on the inside of them it's just like I'm gonna make like a little stack like just for these like these are the books that I got from this I didn't cry right in the moment but I definitely cried after when I realized that like you know everybody took the time to like get these and like figure out stuff and write stuff and it's just fucking precious so I just want to like sort of share this idea out into the world I'm sure it's been done before but um, I just think it's such a beautiful thing to do for a friend who loves reading um, as much as I do so it was just so sweet that they did that I didn't know at all that they were doing that so I just thought it was um, 
really really cute and really really precious that they did that and sweet and uh yeah so if you got like a birthday party coming up or a bridal shower or anything like that um put out the idea of like everyone gets this person their favorite books and write something in it because it's so cute like so yeah i'm basically just gonna go now and start reading my way through these these are gonna be like the books that i want to read uh right away like i am a mood reader i typically grab like whatever i'm sort of feeling but at the same time i want to like read these knowing that my friends like them so yeah i'm really excited just hopefully like pound through these books because um Yay, it's just fun and cute. So yeah, that was my bachelorette book haul, I guess is what I'm gonna call that. The most random name for a video ever, but uh, yeah, hopefully everyone is doing good. Let me know if any of these books are your favorite as well. Put anything in the comments you wanna put. And uh, yeah, hopefully everyone is doing good. And until my next video, I will talk to all of you soon. Bye.